Yeah, thank you for, for asking the, the perfect questions of what is open intelligence, what is data, and, and what are the four mainstays. And basically, it, it doesn't get any more complicated than that, so you can rest easy. <laughs> and basically, we, we, we only speak about these, these three things. And, and so, so perfect to start here. What is open intelligence? And as was so perfectly shared, we can just really recognize open intelligence right now. In stopping thinking, we recognize there's something that never changes about us. No matter what's going on in our life, there's always this, what's looking? You know, what's hearing me speak? What's, what's uh, perceiving all of these thoughts? What's asking all of these questions? What's getting all of these answers? What's not getting any answers? <laughs> it's the same thing. This what's looking is always on. It's always bright. It's clear, alert, always. And it's always continuous as well. So your brightness is always continuous, unendingly bright. You can walk around your day to day, see wherever you walk. You can't switch it off. You just can't switch it off. And that's what's so totally amazing. Your whole life, what hasn't been switched off about you. And this is what we're recognizing here. This is what we're training up. This is what we're, we're coming to recognize as always obvious. And it's really powerful to do this, you know, it's, it's, it's really amazing to, to allow everything to be as it is. And in allowing everything to be as it is, this uh, open intelligence, it becomes always obvious that this is just always on and continuous about us. And that there's a solution in every moment to whatever we come across. I found that so amazing. There's a profound solution and something always available, immediately accessible in my life to whatever circumstance I'll come up against. And so we face things like data streams. So what are data streams? And, and loneliness is one. In fact, everything that you're perceiving right now is data. Thoughts, emotions and sensations we simply title as data just to keep it really simple. And data constantly stream, streaming, streaming, streaming all day long. Just from when I started speaking to now, how many data streams have you perceived? How many thoughts, emotions and sensations have arisen? And how many thoughts, emotions and sensations have spontaneously released? Like this design drawn in space like this voice you hear in, in space, like the, the, the sounds of the cars driving by, the flickering of the light. Moment after moment after moment, we see data spontaneously releasing with nothing we need to do about it. And so this is how simple Balanced View is. We allow everything to be as it is, and we recognize that actually, Everything is as it is. And we are supported comprehensively to do so. This is, a, this is a very, very key point in Balanced View that there is a support network available. Because I'd heard beautiful things, philosophical things, wonderful, uh, wonderful visions of, of um, philosophies to, you know, to, to somehow allow things to be as they are and to... to to help me with my problems and to sort out my, my life, to thought, sort out my crazy mind, to sort out my crazy relationships, my desires, urges, my dark depressive thoughts. I'd heard many things and I searched far and wide to find some kind of lasting solution for that but never succeeded until I found a, a really comprehensive support network that would would continually remind me to recognize open intelligence for short moments many times. For short moments throughout your day, this is how you test it out. You allow everything to be as it is. Open and clear like a like blue sky. Your mind right now is, al is alert and clear like blue sky. And we become to know and become familiar 
that, that's just our, the nature of, of mind. Open, wide, without borders, limitations, completely clear. I had been told that my mind was messy, that it was, you know, that it was in here, <laughs> that it was, uh, I don't know, a spongy substance inside, a, inside this bony skull, <laughs> that it was damaged, that it had a this and a that to it, also it, that it was incredibly complex, you know, that I, I, I'm just so complex, it's going to take my lifetime to, you know, to somehow puzzle myself together to be a respectable and, and, and um, a good human being. You know, something massive has got to happen for me just to make the mark as a human being. And what we find is that we are naturally, totally clear, beneficial and totally free human beings right now and recognise that right now. There's something about you right now, this alertness, this, that, that is completely clear and unscratched, unscathed. And this is what we recognise about ourselves and, and it becomes our complete empowered identity, really. From moment to moment to moment, we see that we, we are totally powerful and beautiful human beings and this is an unending recognition. It just becomes really obvious. And it's totally amazing to live life this way. I, I want it for everyone. You know, I just want it for everyone. And I just, I, I never want there to be a moment that anyone thinks otherwise, that they're totally perfect and totally clear. This is what we deserve as human beings because this is what we, we are. This is just exactly what we are. We are completely powerful and flawless and, and beautiful beings. And there's nothing about us that needs to change. There's nothing about us that says otherwise. So whatever negative data streams we have, whatever negative situations we find ourselves in, they are really, they are perfect and they can be left exactly as they are. And in leaving them exactly as they are, we see that they are naturally beneficial. We mind the beneficial aspects of whatever is occurring. And now, please don't get me wrong in saying that if you're in uh, situations that you find are not beneficial for you, there, are, uh, there should be immediate solutions. There should be immediate actions. So that's relying on letting everything be as it is. We don't take that to an extreme of non-action. We see that we're empowered to make incredible decisions. We're empowered with clear discernment from moment to moment to moment what will be of greatest benefit. In my life I've, I've loved getting familiar with, with loneliness and it just takes however long it takes to do so. And a key point in the Balanced View training is that data does not go away or disappear. We don't stop experiencing data. It's inseparable from open intelligence itself. And it's great to be reminded of that. There's some of those data streams that we think, oh, it's, I'm just not getting it, you know, it's still coming up. It's perfect if it's still coming up because it's perfectly announcing itself as open intelligence. Open intelligence, data, the four mainstays, they all become recognisable in our own experience. So there's nothing we ever need to think about or get here in this training. We just show up, we, we test it out for ourselves. Naturally, we find short moments are becoming obvious in our experience just from sitting in a chair, <laughs> being around another person that's doing, that's recognising open intelligence. You know, that's how we learn everything else. Everything else, like speaking English for me, I hung around people speaking English, suddenly I'm speaking English. And, and so it's really amazing to, to take it totally e easy on ourselves and just test it out and see what becomes obvious in our experience, really take the time to test it out.